of you who don't know her and her impressive resume, I'll fill you in a little bit. She ran at Pitt State in college, she's in Kansas, and she has set 14 state road racing records and multiple course records, including the Frisco 50K, which was her debut 50K, and she ran that last year in three hours and 34 minutes. And that got her the fourth fastest time in North America for that year, 2021. Um, she also ran 14 consecutive marathons in under three hours. And I don't think she's, I mean, was that within the last <laughs> five or 10 years? Yeah. Um, her fastest being 246, which was pretty close to Olympic trials time, about a minute away. And she will be racing in the professional field at Boston this spring. So we can all cheer for her there. And hopefully see her on TV. In addition to her personal accomplishments, Sarah has done so much for our local running community, um, which Rebecca will elaborate on a little bit. And I want to say that I feel privileged to be coached by her and to have someone to run with for hard workouts and long runs every day. She sets high goals for herself and achieves them. And she sees the untapped potential in her running friends and encourages and inspires us to want to do more and to, to be more. Um, she helped me get under three hours in New York and she coached me to a six minute PR last fall before um, in Berlin. But anyway, before, before I met her, I kind of thought my fastest days were behind me in college because I guess I just assumed that. And that might be true for like a 5K, but um, she kind of made me realize that I can actually get faster as I get older. That's probably a good example of that too. <laughs> um, so she ran 252 in Berlin. I that's because of Sarah's <laughs> coaching and advice and help. Anyway, she's the best example I know of how hard work and dedication, mixed with the love of sport and the love of people and friends that she gets to run with, how all of that can truly pay off. And so she definitely deserves this honor. And Rebecca. It's my great honor and privilege to co-introduce one of this year's Hall of Fame inductees, Sarah. I had been introduced to Sarah when I started to get plugged back into the running community in 2017. Basically, my invite to meet her was, hey, we're doing 10 miles at such and such pace. Want to join? My first thought was, that sounds terrible. But the vocal response was, sure, what time? And looking back, I'm so glad I said yes, as this led to a wonderful friendship and a running group and community that I consider to be one of my greatest post-college blessings. As I began to run with Sarah, her passion for the sport of running is so evident. Because of this, she has a knack for drawing people into the sport and to achieve their best self along the way. Her passion for running has led her to become a true student of the sport. She's always reading new books, exploring podcasts, and picking the brains of others in a thirst for knowledge and growth. It's been fun to watch her successes as she, is, as she has uh, turned out many exemplary performances, like the aforementioned ones by Casey. What most people see are the stellar times, but the fun part of being a training partner is we get to see the behind the scenes moments. Sarah puts in the effort and shows up every day with a plan to execute. She pushes herself to get her best daily and brings others with her. Successes never manifest themselves in a single moment, but through many intentional actions over a long period of time. Like a marathon, success is a process. Sarah is an exemplary in her athletic, personal, and professional achievements. We're thrilled to see her named as one of tonight's honorees. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, Sarah. Thank you.